I'm Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International in Vienna, and joining me now is Michael Steliaros, Global Head of Quantitative Execution Services at Goldman Sachs. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. And how has machine learning changed the game for trading? It has changed our advertising material a lot, and <laughs> people are jumping on the bandwagon of machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data. Uh, in reality, it hasn't really changed much yet. So there are a lot of models being developed, there are a lot of people, very smart people, looking at a lot of uh, uh, innovative ideas. But in my experience, in production, in reality, it's yet to be seen in terms of what impact it will have. And what are the latest innovations that excite you the most? What's excited me the most recently is the availability of computational power in the cloud. Uh, it's um, our ability now to do computations in a much faster, much sort of bigger data sets uh, in a way that wasn't feasible even two to three years ago. So the whole world has opened up, but as I said, it remains to be seen how valuable that will be in the end. And what does the future of algorithmic trading look like? Volatile. <laughs> Because of regulation, because of uh, significant shifts in the way people invest, so this proliferation of passive instruments has uh, so ETFs, uh, mutual funds that are very passively driven, that has shifted intraday dynamics. It has implications not just for the investment thesis, but for the uh, trading uh, intraday uh, as well. So. Uh, coupled with regulation, especially in Europe and the changes with MIFID and the different ways that people can interact in markets today, it's a very uh, dynamic and volatile environment. Michael Seliaras, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.